What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we are back. And Farmer Manager 2018, baby. Feeling good about it. Feeling real nice. Got to start making some sweet, sweet something. Really. Uh, we just passed a winter time. Winter time is terrible because uh, I started planting all these things over here and then the second winter hit, uh, they died. Now, we did plant some apple trees. Apple trees are perennial, which means they come back every single time. It gets nice outside. Uh, around October or like mid-November, the bees stopped producing, so you gotta worry about that. And I also started to make a tomato area here, tomato greenhouse, which is only $5,000, but it does take a little time because you have to hand plant everything. Uh, also, I'm hand watering this whole joint over here. I bet with the neighbor, prove that you're a better farmer and so Wheat seed, oh well. Sow some wheat seed. I can sell wheat seed like the day is long. Machines. I'll, I'll take that bet, sir. Except. So we'll get some more wheat. We got some apple trees. Just straight killing the game right now. But it was giving me a bit of a time. That is for sure. Because uh, I was just having a hard time trying to figure out, like, what can I do? Have this guy water everything up. Come on, baby. Water it up. Make, make them all nice and big and strong. Doing a fine job. I was concerned though for a little bit because the bees weren't making some, weren't making a whole lot of honey there for a second. I thought like, oh no, do I have to sell them and then bring them back? Like, what do I do here? Like, how do I, how do we do this? This seems to be doing okay. Look at that. So we feel. That's right. Getting extra cash, extra forty-three hundred dollars. Wow, that's nice. That's not too bad. I was also taking a little time with this uh, tractor. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, dropping all the seeds. Um, where he was having a bit of a time, or I was trying to repair him. And I... If you ever like want to repair somebody... Also, I did, was not aware, thank you for the comments in the comment section down below, that if you want to go buy something on the market, there's a used section, too. I was like, get out of town. I'm like, yeah, dummy. I'm like, oh, I didn't know. Oh. That makes sense. So, you can buy these for super duper cheap, and then you can hop over and over to here, and then you can hit renovate. I think repair would be a lot easier, but renovate, and someone will come over, renovate it, make it over, you know, make it real nice for you. Let's we'll just make it super duper nice for you, okay? Let's just go ahead and let's choose somebody to come on over here. Hey, Bernard, though. Spray antifungus. I don't need all of you. Clear that. You clear out there. You you clear too. I don't need all of you. Maybe that other guy. Let's grab a, let's grab that guy. We'll accept. Go ahead and start spraying these apples down. I want these apples to be nice and crispy. Crisp apples. Nice greenhouse tomatoes. Autofill. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know about all that. They're machine guys. These are the Arboretus. Arboretus, is that a thing? It is now. Boom. Now. Harvest, sir. Let's harvest some greenhouse and see what we get. They do have this little perk here. The skill to care for plants affects the size of the harvest. And they're doing a fine, fine job. There we go. Get that honey up there. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Now this works, uh, I hand planted these trees um, for every single time that the person goes down, it takes away an energy point. And I'm like, wow, that's really ineffective. But hopefully it'll make up for the fact that these cost uh, a decent amount, a decent amount, a steady amount. Okay. I thought we I thought we talked about this. Except Harvesting. Good. Good. Any tomatoes? Let's go. Let's go ahead and water you. A while. Since you're not doing anything. And neither are you. Except water them trees up, babe. You do that. You water them trees. You make them look all all 
Oh, beautiful act. How's this looking over here? Soil humidity, we'll have, to, we'll have to take care of that too. It is a lot of micromanaging, man. Um, it, it would be kind of cool if we could like assign the workers to certain things and just like, I know that we can assign these workers here, it's like the bees, we can assign those guys, but when it comes to like a certain field, I can't just make one guy do it. <laughs> or, or this guy do this, it's like it's constantly, you gotta click on stuff. Which is alright, I think, I mean, this is a beta, so maybe they will, uh, implement something like that. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, man. It's a little, it could be a little tedious at times, not even just a little, but and just imagine if you have this giant, giant farm and you gotta click on every single thing. It's, it's gonna be a little much. I really hope these tomatoes bring us some decent harvest. We got 28. Right. Auto fill that. Ready, set, go. And we'll just keep on watering these. Keep on watering. Keep on watering, baby. We're only part way the done. We're part way the done. We're only part way done. I've had a. I slept in a little bit today because uh, my head was absolutely killing me because the weather in Pennsylvania is uh, a little much. There we go. There's a sprinkler. There's a sprinkler. You're now you stop. Why you stop? What happened? Okay. Okay. Right. I wanted to see the animation, man. I'm oh, now I'm bombed. Oh, oh, everybody. Oh, I'm thinking about just letting this entire thing just stack up to the winter time because the winter time literally nothing happens to you. <laughs> literally nothing happens, and we could wait it out depending on what the market does uh, some things uh, selling them tomatoes yeah they're, they're super low they're super low dude honey how comes everything has gone down now that, I'm, now that I have a bunch of it now that I want to sell it everyone's like no 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 farmer diesel just making way too much of that mm 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 have we sprayed this have we fertilized this have we done antifungal No, 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 no. There we go. Except, uh, sir. Very good. Choose. Let's uh, spray it down here. Uh, we should probably get some anti. I mean, should we? Should we get some spray? I think we should. I mean, it would be good, especially for insects. Two grand? Really? Hmm. Let's get it. Let's get it. It's for the future. I just need one. One one thing to spray. We just need to have that guy deliver this John over here. Greenhouse tomatoes. There we go. Alright. Let's go ahead and we'll spray this down. Choose. That's antifungal. I don't want that. We've already sprayed antifungal. Let's choose. Spray for anti-insects. Let's just let's let's just fill them both up, and we have it for this uh, for this place too. We got it for this too. Eighty-one days left. Great. So you can really only do like two harvests in a full year, and that's about it. Curry couldn't find Jeremy Gersten. Why are you asking me? Jeremy Gerson. Right. Del deliver the package. What do I get? What do I get? What do I get out of this? It's $161. Okay. I will take I'll take anything right now, man. Mm-hmm. Also, this uh, greenhouse, these greenhouses have auto watering capabilities, so it's fourteen hundred dollars and then you can click the auto watering upgrade and then that way everything should stay nice and fresh and and beautiful for you. It should stay that way. Do not quote me on that. Everything's looking okay over here, man. Everything's looking a okay. Nice as nice as pie. Let's go ahead and we'll we'll, we'll really speed this up right here, now, man. 
It's a lot of sitting back, waiting, seeing, seeing what you can get. Now, as far as our upgrades for our fellas, for our ladies and gentlemen, increase the strength of employees by 20%. Workshop on production management, increase the rate of production by 15%. That's good, too. You will, HR training methods and techniques, you will find 5% cheaper workers. That's delicious. Increase storage capacity by 10%. Increase the rate of recovery strength for permanent employees, which are all of our employees, which would be nice. Increase the regeneration rate and strength of seasonal workers by 15%, which we don't need because we don't have too many seasonal. Reduce the price of machines on the stock market by 10%, which is also nice. Reduce the price of land. Increase the strength of machines by 10%. And 100 grand, this. Now, uh, as far as like reusable energy and things like that, oh, we're, just losing, we're just losing money everywhere. All right. Well, we're almost done with that field. We're, we're probably going to have to water all of this. Let's auto fill you up, except... It's soil humidity will bring that back up to the par after they're done cleaning all <laughs> cleaning. They're all done watering all this jam. What are we at? Seventy days left. Right, right. I want to see how much these tomatoes are gonna gonna bring in, and we can just sell them all off. That'd be beautiful. Machines. Accept. Contract failed dateline. I don't. I, I didn't hire an employee before March. I didn't need one. Should have called me like seven months ago, dude. All right, so we're almost done here. Almost done with this greenhouse, and then by the time that they're done with the greenhouse, we got three days left on this apple field, and that's gonna be nice. We autofill, accept. Got this water going up. That field's going to be looking uh, real good. 2,926 tomatoes have been harvested. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. And it, grow oh, so it keeps on growing? So every 38 days, I'm going to get a bunch of... Uh, oh, that is that is wonderful. That is just wonderful. Now, we may have to replow them after a certain amount of time because then the yield will go down. But, uh, yeah, nice. Nice. That is super duper nice, guys. Looks like our crop quality is going to be A-OK -okay for some apples. We'll harvest those. Oh, it's going to be such a good... It's going to be a good day. We're going to harvest some apples. We're going to we're going to sell all of this. Woo! Them chicken... What's up with them chicken eggs, man? How comes them chicken eggs... Are we... Are we... Are we... Are we full up here? Building capacity. I'm not near... I'm not near capacity, sir. What's up with these chickens and how comes they ain't making weight? Huh? Oh, it's this guy. Jeremy Gustin would like to go through training. We'd all like to go through training. Nice. Awesome. Autofill. Accepts. Let's get all of them picking them apples. Look at them picking them apples, dude. You pick them apples, sir. Does it mean those apple trees look like they're half dead? <laughs> it's like, I don't think they look that healthy. I don't think they look that good. I think we got some real problems over here. How come we didn't fill the rest of this? And I don't think we had enough uh, seeds to succeed. <laughs> now, if this brings us in a good amount, then we're definitely gonna have to make another an or uh, another orchard field. Get some apples in there. Okay. Almost 5,000 apples. That is wonderful. And we'll get this how many other days? Harvest the crops, perennial plant. Okay, so do we have to do this over again? I'm just going to leave that for now. Do you want to destroy the field in which apple grows? No, I don't. So that's the apple harvest, I believe. 22 days is almost up for this jam right here. Let's go ahead and we'll water this down again. Auto fill. All right, so these, these chickens are making eggs too. I just can't, I think they, after so certain amount of time, they actually sell them because we don't need them. And we are losing cash right now. How much cash, why are we losing so much? <laughs> why are we losing so much money? Good Lord. All right, can we water this? Like what's going on here? Machines. Autofill, accept. Thank you. What's the problem here? How much do these apples sell for? Oh my goodness. Oh 
hold on here. 49.59. Good. Goodness gracious. Now that keeps on resetting and that's really that really bums me out. Alright, 3959. Come on, son. Boom. Back over to 31,000, baby. Woo! Whoa, look at all those trucks. Look at those trucks go, baby. Boom boom. Ba boom Our orchards are looking fantastic. And that's so like I said, so do these reset or like what? Perennial plant. Uh, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. I, I think I'm getting one of those confused. Like per there's perennial and then there's annual. Annuals, it sounds stupid, but perennials will die and then they'll come back and then they'll re regrow stuff. Annuals only have a year and then you have to replant them. Correct? I believe so. I believe that's the terminology. I believe I'm right. I could be wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. Will not be the last and I keep on doing that and I don't know why. There we go. Let's keep watering that field right there. Right there, man. So this would be nice every 22 days if we get a whole bunch of tomatoes. How much were these tomatoes to sell? I forgot. I forgot how much they were. This is looking fine though. Soil humidity. There's a little buggy. I'll say a little buggy right there. Just a bit. Just a bit. I just want to see what in the whole. Like right now it is July. So this is about to be done. Another 39 days. Would like to go through the training with the orchards. Or Woody now. Who's this, who's the guy? Who are we talking about again? Who? Buford Petrovsky. Hey, Buford. I will give it to you for free, my friend. Harvest it. Awesome. Except, if this is the case for this, then we might as well just put in two of these greenhouses right to meow, because I would like to keep this, this lovely, lovely train of, hello. Oh no, insects. My animals are sick. Say what? Show. Call the vet. $400. And of course, the one thing I didn't spray it for. We'll get those insects out of there. Yes, sir. Yes, we will. Where... Uh, my greenhouses. Couldn't find... Jeez. What kind of courier can't find the people all the time? What's up with that? What's up with that? Boom. Take this row ad. So 30 days left on this. Like, I just don't want to destroy these. What are we looking for again? Bernardo Heasley. Deliver the package and pay me. All right. So over the winter time, we'll probably uh, clear that out. We got 26 days left on this. Hmm. Tomatoes, they are cultivating. Very good. Alright, let's go ahead. Probably not the best guys that be doing this, but the, yeah, they're plowing. You know, they're just, they're just, they're just, they're getting it prepped up for everybody else here. Yeah. Everybody else. Alright, so as far as what we need to purchase as well for, dang, we got tied at $21,000 already? Well, that's not good. Uh, so we're going to sell our wheat. That Those apples really helped out. They really, 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 really did. Chickens are contributing as much as they can. 
Those tomatoes, they're being harvested and they're gorgeous, they're beautiful, they're lovely, they're nice. But as far as these honey honey pots right now, man, let's see how much they're going for on the market. Those sweet, sweet honey pots. Oh, look at you. They're on an upswing. 840 units. Sell them. Boom. Back over to 38,000. Bye bang. Nice. So we're going to put some pumpkins in this joint right here. We're also going to put the auto uh, upgrade. Auto watering upgrade. Our tomatoes are almost done harvesting again. And you're almost done as well. 16 days. And I've been rocking this on triple speed the entire time too. So um, we've gone through almost a full season here. Because around uh, November's time is when everything starts getting cold. And that's a wrap, man. That is a wrap. So this will be done by at least... It'll probably get this will probably get done around like January's time with all the pumpkins and everything like that. But if this keeps on auto harvesting, then this way we can actually have something coming in during the winter time because the bees don't do anything. The chickens bring in some eggs, and that's about it. That is a wrap. For this though, this wheat, I only I only made this wheat because I wanted to get the little uh, area hit. Now, as far as moo cows go, I have a feeling that's going to be an expensive venture right there, man. Uh, see, they they just they're constantly getting sick, you know. They're just constantly getting sick, getting the sniffles, like me. What's the matter, guys? You're almost done. Just 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 muscle through it, man. Just muscle through this last row. You're like, nah, nah, it's quitting time. Okay, okay, I see what's going on here. All right, finish up that last bit there, guys. You're the muscle here. And we are almost ready to harvest this jam right here. Oh, that's so good. Quick machines, autofill, boom. Let's get a quick little watering session in here real quick. Tomatoes harvested, 2,933. That is wunderbar, my friends. We're just going to keep on going with that. So around winter time comes around, we're going to be broke as a joke. This way we can get a little something, something coming in. You. 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 Get some fertilizer, but we'll autofill. Except. Oh yeah, this is looking real nice, guys. A little bit off because we had got uh, the insects came after us. They were flying towards our faces. No one was happy. <laughs> no one was a happy camper. I mean, this is August now, so by the time that we try to plant anything here, it's gonna go dead. It's gonna go dead. So we'll see. I'm telling you though, man. Like you don't, uh, you just really need a field just to be able to feed everything else that's going on here. I have a feeling that during the the only reason why I have full time employees on these bees is because they 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 got upgraded so hard. Like both of them are level fives in bees, but they're constantly working even when the bees aren't making honey. So, we're losing some cash there. Uh, I've got to try and look at our budget here. We've got to see if we can maximize our profits. You know what I'm saying? Alright, let's get some pumpkin seeds in here. Let's go ahead and purchase some. And then we got pumpkins, we got tomatoes, chickens, and apples. And now we have this. Beautiful. Alright, let's get to harvesting, fellas. Let's get to harvesting. I have a feeling that once you start out, it just takes a little bit of extra time, just to one learn the game, and then two, to build up uh, like a how much things cost, and then things are being spent. So you kind of just go willy nilly right off the bat, and then once you kind of get an idea of like what actually has to be done, it, it it all it all comes together, folks. It really really does. All right, start planting them pumpkin seeds, baby. So we got greenhouses. So we got apples, greenhouses. Yes. No, 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 no. There we go. Machines, autofill. Dang, son. We're going to have to repair, renovate that over the winter time. We'll have to renovate it over the winter months. 
Because we do use it a lot. And we're going to use it again. Tractor Rega. We're going to use it one more time. And then we'll park it. And then we'll have someone come out and take a look at it. On a budget, obviously. It's like, we should already be re watering these up pretty good. Auto water and upgrade. Soil humidity is looking nice. And finally, last but not least. Oh, we just got to park it. How much do we have on there? Ooh. That's not looking good. Uh, yeah. We gotta have someone come out and take a look at that. For this, though, can I do this by hand? <laughs> it's like, I dare you. Hey, man. Let's start, let's start muscling it. You can do it. Just pick that up. Put it on your back, baby. Put it on your back. There we go. Addyway. 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 Nice. Crop quality. We gotta get pumpkins out next year. We're, we're gonna plant pumpkins now for the season next year for Halloween. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So I'm thinking if you're gonna make an orchard, we might as well make a uh, giant field. Like a giant orchard. So that way you don't have to worry about it. Uh, or see that or do like a, just a bunch of different rows. Get a whole bunch. It's getting dark outside, my goodness. But yeah, man, we've, been go we've gone through an entire season just in this episode. And that's rad. Alright. How is this guy... Alright, so now we got this guy, he's working on the tractor. He's like, good lord, this is a mess. Is this the only machine you use? Yes. Yeah, yes it is. That's why we called you out here to come take a look at it, sir. He's going to take a look at it. He's going to refresh it up. He's going to make it look all shiny and brand new. Well, I mean, as good as it's going to get, really. As good as it's going to get. But this looks nice, man. So this is... Oh, hold on. So we're going to get three full growth cycles in one season. Like before the winter time, we'll probably get another one in there during the winter, unless it uh, doesn't take for some reason. Then they prove that you were faster producing five chicken eggs. <laughs> Clown, I will get that done in less than a day. Cultivate. Oh yeah. Oh, we didn't we didn't cultivate these fields. Oh, uh, well, that's what I get for being dumb. We gotta cultivate them. That way they stay nice and fresh. Otherwise, they're just gonna be lame. Let's go ahead and cultivate them. We'll replant them again. Get a little, we'll have a delay. We'll have a delay for our season. Our pumpkin chunkin season. We gotta be able to, sh to, sh to shoot pumpkins right out of the, right out of the pumpkin. Ooh. All right, man, come back out. We're not doing anything with this plow until next year. So just come out, fix it up as best you can. And I know you got, you, you had the touch, my friend. Oh, uh, we got to rest. That's <laughs> like, you son of a bees. All right. So chicken eggs, we got tomatoes, 792. Tomatoes, to be exact. Yeah, I feel like if, you, if this is a once a year type thing, then just make a giant orchard and not just these two little rows. I think that's what I'll do. If this is something where I can't grow or they don't grow back, I will I will make a second field and make it a giant one because those apples really came in handy. That is for sure. But these clowns are the worst. All right, we're gonna get to the end of the line right here. We're gonna keep on going. We have a little bit left, just a little bit. And man, I'm starting to get tired. I'm gonna go to sleep. Hey man, just finish the last part right here, man. Hey man. Hey. And they're harvesting some more tomatoes. We'll get that done. 
This guy's out here again. We may have to call him again just to finish it out. Because we do use that tractor a lot. Ugh, Buford Leachman, my man. Listen, you got a package. Oh, no, we got training too. Hey, nice. There you go. Shoes, pumpkins, yes. Pumpkins. Don't have enough for the season. I'll give you enough for the season. Start planning them. <laughs> it's like, hey, you're like, huh? I'm trying to read some things here, and it's just not happening. There we go. Oh, wait, never mind. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll plow this for the next year. Yes, machines, autofill. Cause I'll tell you what, we can actually, uh, cause it's what, yeah, it's October 26th. So that was, that took a long time, bro. That took a long time, man. That took a long time, man. And for what? Like, how, many, how much wheat did we get? We got wheat seed in here, lupine seed. How much wheat did we actually bring in? We got 8,000, so that's not bad. We have enough that we'll be able to not, uh, not get angry at anybody. It's like, really? When you go from a game like Farming Simulator, where they just make tons and tons of uh, bank when it comes to uh, the hay bales, and then you go here and you're like, hay bales, oh man, this should, this should cost us a bunch. No, no. All right, so we'll plow and we'll cultivate and then wait for the next year's harvest. So we've gone through an entire season. Our bees are probably gonna crap out on us here in a second. We're going to try, try and do... I like how this is a constant now. Those greenhouses are a constant. That's fantastic. Pumpkins will also be a constant as well. It's a beautiful thing, man. It's a really, really beautiful thing. Have we sprayed any of these? We don't I think we need to spray them because we're in a, in a greenhouse. Contract failed. Deadline deceded. I like them harvested. Produce five chicken eggs. I mean, tell me we haven't produced five chicken eggs in the past... I guess we gotta wait for the date. I'll be waiting for that money to come in. For sure. Alright. Renovate for $409. We keep bringing them in. Alright. Looks like the beekeepers are gonna be done soon. Gotta keep an eye out. 74 days left on the pumpkins. 34 more days left on the... Tomatoes. And we'll find out in the next episode whether or not these uh, regrow. Which I don't. I, if they don't, then that's fine. Because then we'll make a... I'll delete the field and I'll just make a whole big... A whole big one. Get a big one in there. You, sir, hey, is there any way you can bring this back up to its old former glory, please? Because it, like, it hit the renovation, but then there's this repair down here. But this you can't do anything with. Like, it doesn't... Like, I can't click on it. Like, I can't repair it. I can only renovate it. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Of course, we do beat the hell out of it, so. Alright. Looking kind of nice. How about you? 525? We're at honey at 525. Are we making any more? I'll tell you what. 25, sell, make an extra cool nine grand. Uh, let's see here. Anything else we can sell? Anything else? What happened to our tomatoes? Do we automatically sell the tomatoes? Of 
course, is on a downswing. Three thousand, like a little bit of extra cash there. Like we did have tomatoes here, did we not? Let's keep an eye on the tomatoes. I'll keep my eye out on them. So we got sixty days left on the pumpkins. We got twenty days left on more tomatoes. But yeah, man. It seems like they get auto sold, and I think we're done right now. Yeah, like once November hits, that's it for the bees, because all the flowers they go back inside. They 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 won't come out until springtime. That's a shame. And that's the reason why I'm saying like these guys get a full time gig when I really should only be paying seasonal help for it. But they're so good at what their job is, you know what I'm saying? So well, let's see, maybe we can hire them for the season. Like maybe hire one guy who's seasonal. Can I get a seasonal, seasonal bee person? Oh, I can hire any of these guys. All right, so I guess I have to hire them in the summertime or in the springtime when it rolls around, and then I have to pay these clowns as much money as I'm paying them. Look at that. So we lost four grand right there. Four grand. So production uh, increases the rate of production by fifteen percent. That's ten grand. That's ten grand. That'd be so nice right now. Um, I have a feeling we're gonna be fine when it comes to apples. And I'll see. Like, check. I see resting perennial plant. I have a feeling that this is gonna go and grow back, which is gonna be fine. But at the same time, I would like to make a bigger field so we can sell more of them. Very good. Very good indeed. So we got some greenhouses. We have an orchard. We're making some cash. We're figuring out how to repair this jam because we're going to need to. $362. Come back. Yep. Go ahead and renovate it some more. And we're just kind of trying to get into the motion of the ocean when it comes to things that, uh, you know, seasons, when they begin, when they end. Uh, how fast things grow, what needs to be done just in case to prevent like things like insects and fungus and how long those things take to spray or repair time for your tractor, which is ridiculous, I think. I think this is ridiculous how every single season I gotta get this guy to come out like three or four times just to repair something that I just bought last year. But uh, I think we should be able to do some sort of repairs on that <clears throat> without having to pay a guy or have us hire a gr or have like a, uh, a mechanic. A guy who can work on machines. I have a really good high like this guy has, for instance. Uh, Buford has skill to uh, the skill to use machine uh, machinery properly, minimize the destruction level of used machines. The other ones are usually use them enough. Buford's like the main guy, so I'm feeling if we just get them up to snuff. Oh my god, this guy's killing me, killing me, Smalls. Are any employed? No, I don't need to. Don't tell me what to do there, government. Harvest. And if we get these guys to come up, we get like, uh, if we upgrade them, we may see more of a benefit as well. So give me a second here. Plants. It's cutting a little close, I know. I'm cutting it by the skin of my teeth. But I have a feeling that it will reward us in the long run. Hold on here. Bernard Heasley. Hey, Bernard. Where are you at, Bernard? I'm upgrading all these different guys except for who I should be upgrading. Beautiful. So now maybe we'll see a little bit more yield. Maybe. Not quite sure. But folks, that's going to be your episode for today. We went through an entire season. 12-22-2019. It's going to get stupid, uh, stupid code. It's going to start uh, snowing on our parade here. And we have a plan. So, we got pumpkins that are coming out. Those are going to be done in 31 days. And we're making some money just off these two and these two alone. Work on the field is interrupted due to heavy snowfall. Yeah, that's fine. I was I was waiting for it. 288 tomatoes harvested. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me. So, we got our greenhouses. The snow is hitting. 
We'll see in the next uh, episode if these come back. And if they don't, we'll make a bigger one. Uh, we're going to renovate this guy for another 12 bucks. See if that gets us up to as high as we can possibly get. And we'll work on getting seasonal beekeepers. And see if that affects how much uh, we sell to how much we make off of all of this fun, fun stuff. Yeah. Keep my eye out. Folks, if you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like, hit that like button. Helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day, every single week, folks. Have a great day, afternoon, evening, a good night. Peace out, like shout y'all. I will check you out right here again in Farm Manager 2018. Next time.